Hurricane Earl has made landfall near Belize City, Belize as a strengthening Category 1 hurricane. I'm Mike Naso from IPR's YouTube page with the latest on Earl. And again, I have to say, looking at the satellite imagery, I'm very impressed with it. It's a uh, formidable Category 1 hurricane. You can see this upper level low here north of Hispaniola helping to vent the eastern side of the hurricane. A little bit impeded on the northwest side, but that's irrelevant. It's strengthening us over very hot waters. Thankfully, it's coming ashore now. Had this been delayed by 24 hours, Belize would be looking at potentially a major hurricane, and from the sounds of it, they're already getting some nasty impacts. Here's the latest as of 1 a.m. Central, 2 a.m. Eastern. Uh, the Eye of Hurricane Earl was ashore near Belize City at 17.4 north, 88.3 west. Winds were up to 80 miles per hour, gusting as high as 90. It's still moving west at about 13 or 14 miles per hour. The minimum pressure down now to 979 millibars. So again, this was on its way to trying to become a Category 2 hurricane. And you can see the track here has been pretty straightforward towards the west. As a matter of fact, uh... If it stays as far south as it is, it may never come back out into the Bay of Campeche. So we're not looking at any significant strengthening. If this were to come back out and take a much further north track towards, say, Tampico or even points north, it would have chance uh, to strengthen even more. But it's not going to. It's not going to come out over it at all, it looks like, at this point. But again, the uh, eye of the hurricane inland... Of course, we had those hurricane warnings along the coastline of Belize, but the hurricane force winds do not extend out far at all. Uh, actually, they only extend out about 15 miles. Now, this map is from earlier, but you can see even better how there's only a little spit of hurricane winds there, but where they impact, you will have uh, gusting up to 90 miles per hour, maybe even 100. This system is strengthening as it comes in, but this wind field should decrease as it moves inland but the size of the cyclone will cause heavy rainfall, and that is of great concern. There's the radar out of Belize City. You can see the eye moving ashore. It goes across the coast, and then it is inland. And you can see the uh, backside of the hurricane is pretty intense as well. In fact, if we move out a little bit further, you can see that this, again, I'm impressed with it. It's uh, got a decent donut shape here. A uh, ragged Category 1 hurricane, but strengthening. It's going to pack a wall up there in Belize City, and uh, anybody in that area should be very cautious. And if you're further north in the Yucatan Peninsula, it's not going to be as bad. But we still do have some rain squalls. Again, this thing did definitely get organized as it began to come ashore, and we started to see even some uh, outer rain bands over areas of Central America, and you can see... What I mean, the moisture envelope with this is very impressive, but that could cause heavy rainfall. Again, this band here moving into the Yucatan, that's going to move towards the west and then wrap right around the system as it pulls inland. So more heavy rain. These very deep convective uh, bursts over the center, that's an indication that not only is this a strengthening hurricane, this water is hot in the Caribbean. So we're going to be watching this throughout the hurricane season because... Uh, Hopefully, we won't have any more storms hitting land, but if they do, hopefully they don't get stronger than Earl, because Earl's only the second hurricane, and it is packing a punch. So that'll do it on Hurricane Earl. Again, a Category 1 landfall in Belize, heavy rain, a little bit of storm surge flooding, and gusty winds. I'm Mike Naso. I will see you next time.